Um, I've written another essay, but that's not what I'm starting with. Today I am starting with the pampering photos. So I didn't really take all that many photos because I was busy doing stuff. There were funny stuff on my Snapchat. I didn't keep most of those. I only kept like three photos, so I'm gonna show you those now. The first of which is the bath bomb that I used, which was glorious. My hands are still soft from it, which is a miracle. And that was Avo Bath by Lush. And then the other two are selfies, one of which was me going, oh my god, I am so good at train makeup. And the other one was proper lighting so you can get the full effect of like my pretty dress and everything. So I am wearing workout clothes today with my little pouch and my new jackety thing and just general workout clothes because I need to do more exercise for both physical and mental health reasons. It will just be really good for me to exercise more. And the way I've decided that I'm going to go about doing this is I'm going to do fun stuff that I'm going to really enjoy. So my new workout routine is going to be going dancing, learning to do two proper 1920s dances on Wednesday evenings, which will be the Charleston and the Lindy Hop, both of which I've wanted to learn forever. So I'm super excited about that. I found someone that does it in town. I'm going to start doing that. Friday nights, I'm going to be involved in the Liverpool University Society of Pole Dancing, which is again going to be so exciting. And that's going to be really fun. And I am also going to be going to archery more because that's sort of more muscular and less cardio and I want to have kind of a balance but what I wanted to talk about was like motivation and how to motivate myself to do things part of what, which is involved in the like exercise the way I'm motivating myself to do exercise to do fun things that I will enjoy I'm also could go running now and then which is why I bought this it's got space for my keys which is zipped and then my iPod so I can like have the trail run to me it's gonna be good it's gonna be good I'm not gonna go running very often but I will go now and then which is why I bought like this for running when it's nasty out which it often is in Liverpool. Anyway so I finished my second of three essays and what I found really helpful with that was to set myself achievable goals so like 500 words a day or something. Have deadlines, self-imposed deadlines so what I did yesterday was I sat down and went finishing this essay by half five and if I do that then I will be able to go home, make dinner, and then go to archery in the evening. So you have achievable goals and you have deadlines for those goals and you reward yourself if you meet those goals, which is what I did. So I went to archery and because I haven't shot in so long, I had to ease myself back in. I was feeling quite sore. So I was like, I'll alternate how much I shoot and how much I don't. And because I was being sensible about it, I then rewarded myself with strawberry cheesecake, which is sort of not the point really of exercise, is it? No, it's kind of not but it's just good for me to train myself to do things because I am terrible at procrastinating and at life and um, my way around this is to just make it as fun as I can really so that's that all the advice that I've got seen online rather about essay writing is like oh avoid distractions when you're working just work turn your phone off don't go on the internet la 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 and I'm just like that doesn't work for me I can't just sit and work solidly I have to do something else while I'm formulating the best way to put a sentence I have to have these little intermittent bits where I'm not solidly working but I'm not on a proper break either I don't know but that's how it works best for me and perhaps that will work better for you than the prescribed advice because everyone is an individual goodbye